الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحبت في الله as part of my reflections of being back here in America for this temporary stay I want to remind myself and my brothers and sisters the importance of course of adhering to the book of Allah and the sunnah of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam but in being brothers because the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said al muslim akh al muslim yashiddu ba'dahu ba'da that the muslim is the brother to a muslim and they strengthen one another and the reason i want to emphasize that hadith of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam is because a lot of times we see people take it for granted in Muslim communities. They don't give salams. And sometimes you need, you might be the only Muslim in a particular place or something. There's no harm. Give salams to your brother or sister to at least acknowledge that Islam and the, that akhwat al-imaniya because so many people, their al-wala and bara, their love and their hate is so out of place with what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded that they have nearly no, it's just, Islam is just a culture for them. And they have no love for the mu'mineen. And they love everything and everyone that's sinful. Instead of realizing the importance of that brotherhood and that brotherhood is the anchor. And that brotherhood is what's bringing you closer to Allah and that brotherhood will remind you of Allah Azza wa Jal. And that brotherhood could be a protection for you. That brotherhood and that sisterhood. And the Prophet ﷺ said, you should do ba'dahu ba'da, that they strengthen one another. This is the state of the Muslim and the Mu'min. But those people who are extremely weak or have gone so far astray or have even left the deen, that's not their affair. They don't strengthen one another. They, in fact, often repel one another or hate one another or despise one another or have enmity towards one another and are sh ashamed of one another and do not assist one another. So this is why and what the Prophet wasallam prohibited us from. He, he, he ordered us to be brothers he said sallallahu alaihi wasallam wa kunnu wa kunnu and be brothers o servants of allah the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam forbade he said wala tajassasu wala tahasudu wala tabaghudu wala tadabaru the Prophet ﷺ said, and do not, and he was talking about the believers, he, do not spy on one another, do not hate one another, do not turn your backs on one another, do not cut one another off by making hajr of one another, and be, and then he ordered, so here the Prophet here we have a nahi, and a, a nahi fi the tahrim, the prohibition, shows that it is uh, something muharram, and that was he made haram for us to spy on one another, to cut one another off, to uh, hate one another. And he ordered us a command, you feed al-wujub. And so then the Prophet Sallallahu commanded us to what? To be ibadullahi ikhwana, to be uh, servants of Allah and brothers. And so, all of this, the ikhwa ta imaniya, akhwa ta imaniya, the Islamic brotherhood, the, the faith-based brotherhood, the brotherhood of iman, the purpose is that you can worship Allah better. That you have a community to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You worship Allah to barak wa ta'ala, and you join in this worship with, the, with ahli iman that you have a community based on 
your ties are based upon not your tribe and your nationalistic tie, but rather it's on Iman. Your ties are based on Iman. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with the ikhlas with the bat and bless us to love one another for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and forgive us of our many, many, many sins and bless us to be brothers and practice what pleases him to wa ta'ala and detest and, dis and be away from what displeases him wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam 